so if you guys know me, you know that I have a clips channel where I, you know, I post various clips about things that are going on in, you know, politics, pop culture, all these different things. And, you know, sometimes I have some more sensationalist um, thumbnails, and this one's a little bit unfortunate, where I said Marjorie Taylor is impeaching <laughs> Joe Biden. No, unfortunately wasn't true. Marjorie Taylor did not impeach Joe Biden. Um, she did issue out articles of impeachment against Joe Biden. And now, she's not the only one, because Lauren Boebert also introduced articles of impeachment against Joe Biden. And this one seemed to have even more support than Marjorie Taylor Greene, where she issued the articles and they didn't seem to go anywhere. But this does seem to have some support. Let's see. Lauren Boebert introduced articles of impeachment against President Biden on claims that he mishandled his constitutional duty to secure our southern border. That's interesting. It's interesting because it's also one of the things that Marjorie Taylor Greene, um, you know, claimed was grounds for impeachment. But the congresswoman is giving others the opportunity to act, but would warn that if leadership does not, act, quote, actually do something about the president's failure or a uh, failure to secure our southern border and keep the country safe, end quote, then she will introduce the impeachment legislation under a privileged motion. I think this means that people are going to have to vote on this if she decides to go through with this. But would explain what her impeachment process would look like if she decides to call her impeachment legislation. Under Rule 9 in the House, we can bring up certain pieces of legislation under a privileged motion. So I would go to the House floor and call up my articles of impeachment and read it in its entirety. And at that point, leadership has a maximum of two days to respond and see if it's going to be sent to committee or a vote on the articles themselves, Bobert told Fox. Interesting. For Tennessee GOP Representative Andy Ogles, Articles of Impeachment. I didn't know they issued Articles of Impeachment too. These were a lot of Articles of Impeachment being offered, um, you know, in the matter of like months, really. I support any Article of Impeachment that is filed that qualifies Joe Biden for impeachment under our Constitution, Boebert said Tuesday. Interesting. I think that this certainly means that Joe Biden is likely to be impeached uh, probably before um, the GOP debates. This is rather, rather interesting. It makes sense, right? By impeaching Donald Trump, I think the Democrat Party and by proxy the left, they're not exactly the same. Uh, but I think that they've lowered the bar to an extreme extent when it comes to what makes a president impeachable. And this makes Joe Biden easily impeachable because his track record has been far worse, especially if you look at just objective measurements, how the economy has been uh, under Joe Biden versus how it's been under Donald Trump. And yes, we can whine and complain all we want to about COVID, but the fact of the matter is Donald Trump was a president during COVID. He's the one who launched the needle things. He is the one who gave us the stimulus packages, which I frankly think is part of why we're where we're at today financially. But Donald Trump did all these things and the economy was not collapsing under him. So just by sheer fact of looking at what the country has been like during Donald Trump's reign versus during Joe Biden's reign, and uh, it's nine day. It's nine day. And I think one could certainly make the argument that Joe Biden's been a worse president than Donald Trump. And I think because of that, um, if we're going to say that Donald Trump was so bad that he had to get impeached, then... What about Joe Biden, who was, I think, clearly a far worse president? It, it, it put, put two or two together. It makes sense. But I do think at the end of the day, I would rather see us go back to the way things were. We reserve impeachment for the worst of the worst um, things. You know, the desecration, you know, <laughs> of the office of, you know, the United States. Um, which, you know, so far, I think, honestly, that... Only Bill Clinton, um, you know, has stooped down to. You know, I don't think that Donald Trump has done anything quite that badly. I don't think that Joe Biden has done anything quite that badly. Although I do think that one could certainly say that, you know, his brain isn't there. So you could, you know, maybe um, force him to step down using those justifications. But, you know, I'm also hearing talk that... Uh, you know, Donald Trump, uh, some people might be trying to get Donald Trump's impeachment expunged from the record. I think that would be a good start if maybe we don't impeach Joe Biden as well. But we'll have to see.
it, it, it this is this is not a good presidency. I do hope we get a new president, and I hope the new one is a good one. So, pick wisely in the 2024 elections, folks. Please. And please vote. <laughs>